Hi, this is Nat with Nat's Astrology Corner, and this is your daily horoscope and energy reading for Monday, the 28th. And today we have a very special day. We have Uranus and the moon are going to align today, and that is going to be in um, 19 degrees, which is actually a really cool degree for it to align in because. It's in, it's a really high energetic level as far as in finding the highest vibration of some Uranian energy. So I really like that we're, we're moving out of the lower degrees of Uranian energy and into this really flourishing energy that's in Uranus. So let's talk about when the moon and Uranus align. So both in Aries. So this means that yourself, right, how you see yourself, um, your, Uranus energy is the great awakening energy, and it's in Aries, so this suggests that you are going to have a tremendous awakening that awakens you on a, an emotional level because it's aligning with the moon in Aries, but it also awakens your consciousness to Maybe areas that you weren't conscious of um, in yourself. So some, it'll awaken strength. It'll awaken confidence. It'll awaken the ability to get out of a collective type mon mindset and um, living in a more authentic type mindset. So both of those energies, when they align, are going to be training Venus in Leo. So this suggests to me that you're going to get a great awakening or a clarity when it comes to how you partner with people, romantic partnerships especially, or you may have a sudden awareness or a sudden awakening in the fact that you need to change the direction of the way that your relationships are going or your romantic partnerships or some of your creative endeavors. So, so let's say some of your creative endeavors are going in one direction. You need to make sure that that creative endeavor is going in the right direction. And you may have this sudden epiphany of like, oh my gosh, this is the missing piece. So I always, I love to talk about the flux compassor in um, Back to the Future because when he hits his head, he doesn't know what it is, but he writes it down and then he's like, oh my God, it's the flux compassor. Like you're going to have that kind of creative awakening today, possibly. For those of you that are really investing a lot of your heart and passion and soul into some creative endeavors. So today the sun is going to be in Libra and Mercury is going to be in Libra, and they're both in conjunct, and they're both um, quincunxing Neptune and Pisces. So, partnership energy is, or pairing energy, or balance energy, is in quincunx with Neptune and Pisces, and I think that's because some of us, some of this awakening that we may experience, in ourself, in our core, and in our emotional well-being may jolt our balance a little bit, right? And I do think that this has to do with the past. So our moon is our emotional level, and that is that is in alignment with Uranian Aries um, energy. So our emotions are going to take over and be at an all-time high. And it has to do with ourself today like it has to do with how we um imminently connect with uh what we emotionally desire and this is on a very primal level on a very um passionate level so the need to balance out this energy is going to be at an all-time high but it is in quincunx energy so it is it's that energy source is being lowered in vibration. So to help you guys understand what I'm trying to talk about is our inner core is not in balance, right? With what ultimately will get us ahead in the future. Uranian energy is futuristic energy. It is very progressive. It is forward energy. Sometimes we don't really understand how big of an impact Uranus has on our life, but 
emotionally, if we were to use an emotional barometer, you're going to hear me talk a lot about this, and I think I'll continue to do it in the future. Your moon, where your moon is located, or the energy that's coming off of the moon, is in our emotional barometer. That is how we know we're going in the right direction, intuitively, right? And our emotional barometer is telling us that we need to be very passionate about our lives, passionate about love, passionate about creative endeavors, and they need to be in forward movement. Now, for some of us, I think the problem with the forward movement that we're having is that unconsciously we block ourselves because we want to hide from energy that's progressive, right? If it gets too progressive and it opens up too many doors, I think what happens is we start to want to really, really, really analyze this. And when we have all this Jupiter energy in Virgo and Mars in Virgo, we're going to be highly analytical with energy, but we're not going to trust in spirit, faith, and angels to guide us or whatever you hold dear as guides. We're not trusting that guide. So that is blocking all of this really progressive energy today. And could cause us to quincunx out. Because Neptune is a planet of hope, right? It's, it, it really is. I mean, it, it gives us the delusion that things are going to get better. And if it's in quincunx right now, I think some of us are going to want to really analyze and critically take a look at this energy source for what it is. And we're not going to make the progress. We're not going to really tune in up to all this Uranian energy that's gorgeous today. And our emotional barometer won't, won't, won't point us north or in the location of moving forward. So I think for some of us, we're not looking at the victories. We're not looking at forward movement. We're not looking ahead. Because Mercury's in retrograde, we're looking back. And um, because Mercury is in quincunx right now with Neptune as well, I think for some of us, we are really kind of looking at some some wounds and some emotional burdens that we are carrying along with this Uranian um, moon. Now, there are two vibrations to every energy. And so if some of you are really caught up in your ego and what has happened and how much um, it was energy was taken away from you during all of this progressive movement, then some of you are going to be a little bit wounded. And some of this could very well have something to do with the fact that, you know, the lunar eclipse really, really opened your eyes to things. And so some of this awakening, this epiphany energy has to do with this Aries uh, lunar experience that we had. However, the problem is, is that this is a lot to process. We had a lot go down when, when you hit eclipse season a lot goes down. And so I think at some point you want to halt all the energy and you want to take a look at it and you want to make sure that where you're going is exactly where you're supposed to be going. When you have Uranian and Aries energy in your moon and it is, it is they're aligning, it's making it so you're, you're either going to be very hypersensitive about moving forward, or you're going to move forward gung-ho and you're not going to think things through because it's almost like you want to run away from what is going on. Some of you, that could be very, very well be. So, but some of you I know are going to have a really big awakening today and it is going to be beautiful and magical. And I think if you can just stop yourself from trining the energy. Tr don't trine it totally out. Let the trine build you with confidence and and assertion and tone down a little bit a little bit of the Uranian energy, but don't let that trine trine out you and just make you want to do nothing and you're just going to chill all this energy out and you know you're going to be like, oh, I just need to balance. I really need to process what happened. Everything was so intense. Like, I, I just don't want you to get caught up in that because there is some gorgeous messages in today. If you can allow the Uranian energy or your emotional barometer, your emotions, yourself, and, and this barometer is going to be inside yourself, right? Because this is, this is in your core. 
So you really get a chance to take a look at everything realistically because Neptune is in quincunx and it's, you know, it's really, it's really being asked to really um, expand and, and, and see outside the boundaries and really attach to reality and forward movement. It's an interesting day. I've got to say that the energy is definitely, um, God, it could really go either way. I mean, it could either, you could either, you're, you could either really attach to this and you can just get all Uranian on it and it can be a very exciting day. I think for people who have, um, Uranus energy like Aquarians or um, people with Aries or Aries Sun, Moon and um, Aries risings are really going to really flourish after this. I mean, they're really good. This awakening could really open up um, some limiting belief systems. Um, definitely. I definitely, well, I could see that happening for everybody, but I believe that it would be intensely strong for those of you that have an Aquarian influence. I think you just have to open your heart up and allow spirit or something to guide you bigger than yourself. Uranus energy is often bigger than we understand. It is removing us from um, collective thinking and it is it is asking us to individually stand out and to be authentic and quirky in our own little ways and to be very confident in that. That can be very hard to do when we just went through a lunar experience that was an accumulative energy and ending of some sort. Thank you guys so much for tuning into an Astrology Corner. I hope you have a fabulous Aries experience and I look forward to talking to you guys again tomorrow. <laughs>